Hey, it's nice to have you back here in this new video. Today, just want to share with you some new update about Candle technology. I mean, the designer and the company behind this Candle Cookam 8K. This Candle Cookam 8K. And our YouTube channel has made a lot of in-depth review tutorial video about this camera. And this camera has long been a milestone for this whole 360 camera industry, even in the year 2023. We are waiting for the next generation of the cool cam. And in the latest CES, CES event, we got some new update for you guys. But before we get started, just want to give you some disclaimer about this video that I haven't got any input from Kandal. Neither could I go to the CES booth to get my hands on the new camera. All of my opinion based on my personal observation and investigation, one shout out for another YouTube channel which is, has been our friends in this industry. That is uh, the creator of Hugh Ho and the Mike Tai from 360 Rumors. So you guys live in America, if you are lucky enough to attend the CES event, please, please go to the booth and give us some first hands first hand information and give your hands on this new product and share with us more information about this new cameras. So now let's get started. This morning in my email box, special in the trash can, one of the email, one of the email from the candle, the company has been blocked. It looks like it is another advertisement from the candle, but when I open up this email, I saw this candle CES event some update. The CES will be held on January 5th to 8th in the Las Vegas. The RVCC Central, the booth number is uh, 15883. So if you guys could be lucky enough to attend this booth, be sure to share some more information with me. This time is the VR cameras and all-in-one conference cameras. And watch out. They told us cameras. So it's actually, it's not a single camera, maybe there's multiple new cameras online. Uh, next one is some of the product lineup about the the meeting, the cool cam and the obsidian. The first, this one is the Obsidian Pro that delivers the 12K, 12K in, in raw video format. That's one of the cool cam Eagle and uh, the Canon Meeting Pro and a Kukam AK Enterprise. I mean, the Kukam AK has been discontinued for quite a long time. And that is the only way we could get the Kukam AK it is the Kukam AK Enterprise, designed for some live stream use cases and more professional use cases. It's really a pity that we just cannot get Kukam AK on the market. Luckily enough, I do have my Kukam AK and it's long been my main camera for quite a long time to help me deliver 8K 10-bit video files to capture some precious moment in my life. Up to now, this is still my go-to camera for the very important event. And for the Obsidian Pro, we are so lucky to attend this launch event and also give you my first hands on this camera as well. And also some new update. The Cook Amigo, also give you the first hand tutorials, in-depth review, and follow up some latest update. The unveiling of new cameras. I mean, unveiling of new cameras. It's not one, but two, but two new cameras. For hybrid conference meetings, bullet time video production, and 360 panorama. So maybe for the hybrid conference meeting, it's tend to be the Canon Meeting Ultra. I mean, maybe it's the ultimate version of the Canon Meeting product line, the flagship model. And the bullet timing video, I mean, you know, if you're familiar with Kandal, they, they did deliver some uh, world-class bullet time capture video rig system, the multiple videos to capture, just like the Matrix. So the bullet time is not a bullet time chord. They rotate, not, not based on rotation and high frame, but with low resolution. But Kandal use multiple cameras. Uh, I bet you have see some of their samples and the uh, prototype on, on the market. And for 360 Panorama, maybe it is the next generation of the Kukam 8K product line. That's it. And the first one comes with the Canon Meeting Ultra. 
Collimation offers the 360 AI conference host with dual touch screens. So the core, the core about this product should be the Canon Pro. I mean, you look at look at this the camera, the buttons. But another innovative design about this product is the implement of the dual touch screen, maybe even bigger than the 10 inches. I mean, this is around maybe 13 or 12 inches diagonal. So to speak, it uh, looks like it is a, a 360 camera that reframe two individual streams simultaneously to let all the attendees appear on the monitors in the front and, and the rear and front rear monitors. And you can perform multi-touch. So you don't have to use a keyboard or mouse. It is a, a giant step forward. But on the side, you can also see some, some, some socket, such as Ethernet cable, two USB micro SD card slot for uh, a backup video, and maybe another um, RJ45 Ethernet cable. And it definitely support Wi-Fi 6, maybe for support Wi-Fi 6, so you can live stream with better quality and a better bit rate. And it's already won the CS 2023 Innovation Awards. Quite interesting. And the bones of the touch screens could be rotate. Did you see that? 48, 48 degree. It's not 45. A little bit bigger than the 45, 48 degrees. Pretty interesting. I'm really looking forward to know more about this product. And new launch. This is 360 conference solution with two rotatable touch screens monitors and 4K imaging quality for conference meetings. So I mean, it's a it. I mean, it is probably a Canon Meeting Pro plus plus two multi-touch screen and maybe even better, even better chipset, perhaps. And you can see it definitely delivers a much better experience to every, uh, the video conference attendees watch, stare at the touch screen instead of staring at the TV screen on the wall. Because if you're watching at the lens, you are actually watching the attendees eye to eye. So this is a more intuitive, intuitive and friendly design for the hybrid conference meeting scenarios. It's definitely, definitely, it is very innovative. And next one, let's talk about this guy. This guy looks pretty damn interesting because it reminds me of the GoPro Max, you know? It's pretty identical, pretty identical with the GoPro Max. But you know, the GoPro Max is a, is a, is a 60 camera in the history. It's around four years ago, you know, four years ago in 2019, the GoPro delivers GoPro Max, which is uh, next generation of the GoPro 360 camera product line. Uh, it's the next generation of the GoPro Fusion, which is GoPro Max. Up to now, still many customers stick together with GoPro Max, because GoPro Max is actually a GoPro. But what we can do in the form factor of GoPro Max in the year 2022 and 2023 will be completely different will be completely different from what we can do about four years ago because we have improved so much in the optical system, uh, in the SOC, the design for 360 camera, and with a lot of feedback from customers worldwide. So definitely, we should perform, we should get, for our customers, we should get a much better 360 camera, even in the same form factor like the GoPro Max. So that is what I am expecting so much about this cool cam. First, you have a speaker and four microphones. Four microphones, that is probably, you know that this camera supports spatial audio capture and it will deliver shotgun microphone audio quality. It has a, a not giant, but a big touch screen. I mean, probably it, it is, smaller than the GoPro, uh, than this uh, Cam 8K, but it's still a big enough for live, for, for live preview and playback and some camera control. And judging from my personal experience about the Cam Ego, 
this should be an, a high quality display. And this, uh, I mean, this uh, user interface has been improved a lot. For the optical system like this, it is an offset structure. This offset structure is quite different from the twin folded optical system, uh, which indicates that you can take the fully advantage of the thickness of the camera body to jam a much better optical system inside this camera. But it is a more challenge when you perform stitch because of offset optical system, the bones will capture the camera body. So sometimes it's quite a challenge for the perfect stitch. But on the basis of the cool cam 4K and GoPro Max, I think I am I, I feel confident about this stitching quality about this camera. This camera supports replaceable battery because you can see two buttons, the left and right, and maybe it supports replaceable micro SD card. And maybe it's waterproof. Looks like this is it's an action camera. It's, it's not an ordinary 360 camera. For optical system like this, you can put on the lens protector, the snap on, or just wear a lens protector just like the GoPro Max. And it also has got a quality mount on the bottom. So not a foldable finger mount, but this one has a quality mount right on the bottom. So probably on this side, you get replaced battery. And on the other side, you have Type-C port charge and a micro SD card to increase your capacity. This one looks pretty damn awesome. This is a cool cam app, and this is the camera. Just watch out. This this one is, is uh, in camera raw plus tutorials. I mean, this this, this photo is captured by myself at around the year 2018 in uh, in Japan. Uh, it is also a sample image for the raw plus official tutorial. With this camera, I'm confident that they would definitely support DNG8 as well as RAW+. Plus. RAW+, Plus just represent the very first innovative innovative feature in the 360 cameras industry. So the new launch about the Canon Cam 3 will be boom for me. Cam 3, I mean the number 3, it's just sometimes misunderstanding, misleading. You know, for the Cam product lines, it's not the third generation. But actually, it is the next generation after the Kukam AK. Because it's not an 8K360 camera. It is a 5.7K. 5.7K360 camera is the next generation after Kukam 8K. So to speak, this is actually the Kandal Kukam 5.7K. Or we should say it's Kandal Kukam 11K. Because you can capture 11K photo as equivalent 20, uh, 16 to 16.2 megapixel and 360 waterproof action camera. So definitely has jam-packed some image sensor to support quad bear pattern. And 4K60 for slow motion, capture photo in 11K. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit weird for the 11K because um, when you calculate with your calculator, you can, you can see that the 62 megapixel Divide this number by four, it's less than 5.7K. Actually, 5.7K is an equivalent pixel of 80 megapixel. If you multiply four after 80 megapixel, you should get 72 megapixel. But why this is 62 megapixel? I just don't understand. I didn't quite get the idea. Maybe it's some, something wrong with the advertisement, or maybe uh, the QM3, it doesn't perform full center without for the maximum resolution, but it performs full center without for the video. It looks pretty interesting. It just just create an uphill hole or make a tie. If you are standing at the booth, be sure to ask the question for the, for the engineers. I mean, I'm just curious about this feature. Based on the basis of my calculation, there's something, there's something that is, I don't know, it is, it's, it's a misspelling for the marketing material, or it is actually a different approach in a 360 camera design. Maybe it is something a technical compromise in between the pixel number and the the speed, the maximum performance. 
That's quite interesting. So I, I've been I've been so curious about the Cook M3, and I would definitely deliver some more new update about this camera. Maybe as long as I got something new to share with you. But up to now, this email newsletter is all that I can get from the website, the internet, and uh, all of the opinion on this, on this video, judging from my personal observation about this camera. So just want to share with you my basic thoughts. And if you anything that want to discuss with me, you can leave down in the comments and let me know. And even you can leave down in the comments for your future expectation for the candle, the cool cam, the new product in this candle cool cam series. So I do hope you can enjoy the video could help you solve your your problem questions and maybe probably help you get to know a little bit more, a little bit more than this this CES newsletter from the official team. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And just stay tuned on our channel and just keep watching on the Creator Up and 360 Rumors for more further investigation. So talk to you soon. See you next time. Bye.